pagtulong na walang kapalit. Bukal sa kalooban, ang tanging hangarin ay magsilbi sa bayan. Sulong na bayan! Programang sasa inyo, alas dos hanggang alas tres ng hapon. Sulong na bayan! Kasama si Miss Loli Acosta sa DWIZ 882. Ito, totoo na. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. No? Uh, ito po, kamukha nang nagsabi ang programa ni Miss Loli Acosta. No? Ako po si Pen Berdan. Uh, siguro nagtataka kayo bakit ako po ang bumungad sa inyo. No? Uh, isama po natin sa pananga- panalangin si Miss Loli. No? Dahil kahapon po eh, medyo nadulas po siya. Ngayon po ay nagkoconsulta lang naman po siya sa klinika ni Dr. Estrella. No? So pag-pray po natin no, na Uh, malalaman natin kung anong dapat gawin, no? na wala naman po sana uh, malubhang ba- bali no? sa kanyang mga buto. No? Nakakalakad naman po siya. Uh, wag naman tayong masyadong mag-alala. No? Tomorrow, sa tingin ko na dito na siya kasama natin. No? Yung sa mga nakikinig kay Miss Lolly, alam natin na tuwing lunes, no? alam natin na inuuna talaga niya si Lord. No? Kaya every Monday, no, meron tayong one verse a day that keeps all our worries away. No? Tali nga sinasabi, all our worries. No? So sa hapon na to, sana po eh, prepare natin no, ang ating isip, ang ating puso, no, para tanggapin ang salita ng Diyos. No? Sa <laughs> hapon na to, eh, last minute ho, eh, naimbitahan ko ho ang aking anak, no? na naninirahan ngayon sa Australia, sa Sydney, no? Siya po ang aking uh, um, sa, ano, uh, dun po sa ibang nakakaalam, tatlo po yung anak ko, no? Na, na guest na po ni Miss Lolly yung bunso ko. So, ito po ay yung aking second son na si Cholo. Yung kanyang pamilya po, no? Ay nasa Australia. Po ay permanent president na doon, no? Uh, siya po ay Uh, married to Felicia no na tinatawag naming Faye no meron po siya lang dalawang anak uh, yung panganay po eh si John na napakagwapo po no uh, he's 4 uh, years old no and yung bunso nila nakapapanganak lang po nung uh, June 23 ay si Olive ho, ang ang first girl po ng Bertang so sa hapon po na ito eh, welcome po natin <laughs> si Cholo Bertang hi Cholo Hey, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Good afternoon. Kamusta, <laughs> John? Mabuti. Um, winter? Winter, tapos malakas yung ulan, parang la niya so far. So, kakabalik ko lang. Galing ako sa clinic to buy some uh, diapers okay. for our newborn. Okay, that's good. Okay, are you ready? No, Are you ready to discuss your verse? No? Your life verse? Yeah. Ready sige. na ako. Sige, sige. So, yung life verse ko is um, Psalms. The very first book of Psalms. So, Psalms 1. Um, short lang po siya. Pero, I think yung first three verses, yung pinaka um, the specific ones na I believe is my life verse. Go ahead. Oh. So like, okay, I'm gonna read. So sa Psalms 1, verse 1 to 3, sabi is, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season. And its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Wow. Grabe, beautiful. Actually, week, every week naman eh, basta merong shinere na verse, talagang ano eh, talagang the verses speak to you eh. No? So, sa so tingin ko parang since uh, tatlong verses to, can we, ano, can we probably start uh, sa first verse? No? Sinabi, blessed is, a ma- is the man who walks not in counsel of the wicked. No? So, parang, ano kaya yun? Parang, how do we walk ba? How, ha, ano ba ang manifestation if we are walking with the counsel of the wicked? Meron yeah. ka bang ano, parang pwedeng ano doon? Yeah, actually, kasi like, 
um, immigrant ako ngayon sa Australia. So, yeah. lahat ng mga natutunan ko sa Pilipinas, medyo iba siya w- nang nandito ako. So, ang I'm really fortunate na yung parents ko are um, talagang talagang tinatid kami for church, for ano, for Jesus. And I, I got I got to know the Lord no 11 years old ako. So, from then on, I learned about what it is to be a a Christian. And if you notice on the so verse 1 pa lang, blessed is the man. So yung man is actually if you check the yung footnote doon, it actually means a godly person. So if you're not godly, you're not on that category. So I believe um being godly means ito nga, ito nga, parang you're being blessed as the one who doesn't really walk in the counsel of the wicked. Like, hindi ka swayed sa mga typical answers that are not in the Bible. Yes. And I believe na as, as Christians, if you love Jesus, if you love the Lord, um, all your actions, all your thoughts should be on on the Bible, from the Bible. Hindi pwedeng, ah, sabi kasi ni, ni ng best friend ko, okay yeah. lang, <laughs> mandaya. Kasi natin mo Parang ganun. So parang, Inyong, what I believe na, na that will make you st- stay on the path is yeah. if you go back to the Bible and reading it, yun na, day and night. Uh, okay, we can jump on, on verse 2 na. Kasi sabi na parang, um, His delight is in the law of the Lord. Yes. And on His law, He meditates day and night. Yeah. Which is, um, mahirap siya actually. Mahirap siya. I cannot mm-hmm. even... Um, I cannot even say na I read the Bible every day and night. Yeah. Like, many times na I forget, many times na I, ano, pero in my heart, I think about Him, I talk to Him. So, it's good that you read. It's, it's really good. It will it will bless you immensely. Yeah. And, and it will parang, the, this book has a lot of promises that guided me when I start, first started in Australia, um, got married, yes. um, had a baby, did all the yung mga paperwork. Uh-huh. Kasi I knew everything is is on on the Bible. Or everything that I do, walang daya, talagang okay. walang that's corruption. Good. So that's that's my first two verses. Okay, yeah. Ano nga eh, parang listening to you, parang ako mismo nabibless eh. When, when you say na yung, syempre, like what you said, it's imperfect, eh. hindi, naman, hindi naman every day we're able to meditate. Eh. Not every night that we're able to meditate. But I think when you said na uh, you're, parang you're anchored, di ba? You're anchored in the Word of God. And I think that's what's important now no? for everyone, no? especially those who are parang feeling lost. Kasi di ba, I'm sure may mga nakikinig sa atin na parang, Paano ba yun? Di ba? Paano, bang, paano ba mag-meditate? Di ba? Bakit parang hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta? Bakit parang hindi ako makapag decision And I need, uh, eto nga, I need counsel, di ba? I need advice. The thing is, baka yung uh, nilalapitan mong advice na hinihangan mo ng counsel, eh, hindi siya anchored sa salita ng Diyos. Ang tawag nga dito, wicked eh. Diba? Wicked. So, mas kinas, sa tingin ko, when you said na yung man eh believer, dapat, ba? So, siguro yung mga nilalapitan natin na externally parang magaling sila sa ad- pangigay ng advice, successful sila sa life, ba? Parang they have the authority to give an advice. Baka we should also be discerning, ba? Ang sinasabi ba niya eh uh, naka naka yun nga naka anchor sa salita ng Diyos so kahit siya pwede naman talaga tayo lalapit sa isang tao na hayagang wicked eh di ba ayaw naman natin lumapit sa masasama di ba pero ang siguro nakikita ko dito sa sinasabi mo let's also be uh, discerning ang nilalapitan ba natin eh tamang tao so I think that's uh, and and yung verse to mo nga eh, imagine, uh, talaga bang may delight sa salo? 
may delight ma talaga. When, when, do we really delight na bawal to, bawal yan, uh, no crossing, ay, naku, hindi ako pwedeng tumawid dyan, uh, kasi merong nararapat na daan, do we really delight? Yeah, so that is, the, the answer is on the verse 3. Um, <laughs> yung verse 3 is, He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Just imagine, um, kasi, okay, so, explain ko yung mga puno sa Australia. Sa yeah. Australia, may mga puno that flourish in spring, pero nag-wilt na siya by summer. Then sa fall, wala nang leaves. Tama. Then sa winter, patay. But, by spring, babalik siya. And, I think ito yung parang sinasabi ng Bible na, na sa verse 3 na if you take your delight in the law, mahirap, it, it's hard to ano eh, to have to say na na your delight is in the law of the Lord. Kung hindi mo talaga siya in-embody. Kunyari, um, normal lang maging mag, mag, maghulog. Hindi siya masaya pag hindi ka naghulog kasi you will you will lose money. Parang ganun. Uh-huh. But if you know na what you're doing is right, in promise is you are like a tree na you are planted malapit sa tubig. Yeah. Na merong fruit sa season niya. And yung leaf niya, hindi nag So parang, hindi ba maganda yun? Hindi ba, is it uh-huh. a, a, good, a, a good picture? So, um, I think, I, I think I, my mom said na yung Second lamin is named um, olive. Uh-oh. And I want to explain um, what is an olive tree. Sige. And yung olive tree, <laughs> um, kaya lamin siya pinangalan ng olive kasi yung olive tree, yung characteristics niya, we want to to give it to her. Um, an olive tree is um, is very strong. So they say that the olive trees can last 2,000 years or talagang matagal. And may, at some point daw, they found daw na may isang fire in a forest and yung olive yeah. tree, kahit naputol na yung yung, yung puno, nag-grow uh-huh. pa rin yung mga roots niya. So it's very indestructible. And think about wow. that tree who is beside the water. Yun yung parang vision ko for, for my life na I hope I am that tree who yeah. is beside the water, which is you know, the living source, Jesus Christ, if you are beside that, you are bearing fruit. You can't control. You're just bearing fruit all the time. Yeah. And be- be- not because you're a good tree, but because you're beside the streams of water. Yeah. So parang, parang it's nice to, to surrender the idea that you are, yes, you are a tree, but Parang you are a tree because you're, you're ano, but if, because if you are beside the streams of water, uh, yeah. yun yung parang delighting in the love of the Lord, yun yung yeah. um, ginagawak sa counsel ng mga wicked, hindi ka masyado, hindi ka nag-follow ng mga, mga bad advice, talagang from the Bible, Bible-based yung ano, yung mga, yeah. so parang, yun yung, that's how I envision myself. Kaya siya naging life verse ko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's so interesting. When you said, actually, nung in-explain mo na sa Australia, kasi sa Philippines, walang ganun eh. Uh-huh. Ang mga, mga mangga natin, kumulan bumagyo, uh, wet season, dry season, nandyan siya eh. Diba? Nagkakaroon din, nagkakaroon lang siya, syempre, ng time para bumunga. No? Pero yung sa inyo, nagkakaroon pala ng panahon na parang patay, no? Parang patay ang isang puno. No. So, naisip ko, pagka sa panahon ba na yun, ano, how can we liken that to, let's say, a, a blessed man? Di ba sabi niya, ito eh, parang, parang description to ng isang blessed man. Eh. So, parang kung sinasabi ba natin, may mga times na parang may season din tayo na tag-usbong, tag-fruit, uh, o kaya tag medyo winter, parang gano'n. Mm. Of course, parang I I believe na na the Bible is not 
gonna wash away all your problems. Alam ko yung mga problema mo will come. It will happen. Pero yung idea is, on times of trial, you're still bearing fruit. You are still, yeah. um, alam mo yung may isang beses ata na nasa family ko na it was not really fruitful for me. Yeah. Pero yung whenever I I get blessings, talagang masaya ako. Like, Ooh, praise the Lord. Yeah, praise Jesus. Pero may times na talagang wala. Walang nangyayari. Or parang I see yung mga like hindi kami naging okay minsan sa work or sa sa family. Meron bang, pwede ba ba ako mag, mag-praise the Lord doon? And, and, I can. You can. Kasi, it doesn't matter kung ano yung nangyayari sa'yo. Because again, you are beside, you are planted by the streams of water. Yeah. And yun yung good news na, na there probably ngayon sa life mo, your your nothing's happening. Talagang lahat na lang pwede mangyari, mangyari sa'yo. Right. Yeah. Um, I am sure everybody has been through COVID, even here in Australia. Yes. yes. And talagang you could say na nasa ng Diyos. But He is there. He, ha- he has been there the whole time. That's why you re- rejoice. That's why you praise. Because He is um, there with you, beside you all the time. And no matter kung ano man yung mga trials mo, yeah. you still get to worship. You still get to praise. Yeah. That's so nice. Alam mo na, when when you said na, kasi when you when when you mentioned about season, medyo nag-isip ako, sabi ko, tapos merong may, may winter, di ba? So, kaya lang kita eh. So, pag winter ba, ibig sabihin, patay? Patay ba yung ating ating fate or something like that? But you said, even in winter or even in times of trouble, we bear fruit. No? Yeah. That's what you said. No? And, I think that's very encouraging na uh, una natin isipin na ah, pwede lang ako ano, pwede lang ako mabunga pag uh, all is well. No? And I think that's that's something that's something that I learned today ha. <laughs> it's something new that I learned na o oh, nga naman, no? Walang ano, walang walang eh, may season. Eh, totoo naman, no? Eh, hindi ko lang alam ngayon kung ano ba yung mga fruit bearing trees na nag na nagbe-bear fruit siya <laughs> during winter siguro meron no hindi na po pwedeng wala no and siguro do meron kasi we we know for a fact that there are trees called evergreen eh diba yung yeah. para never sila never sila nagiging dry kaya nga evergreen they're they're being whole year round no? and i think that's also a picture of what it is what uh, a man who's um, a blessed man, that what, like what you said, is anchored in the word of God or planted in the stream of water. No? And you also mentioned that the stream of water is the living water, which is Jesus. Yes. And I think that's, ano, these are good points. No? Anak, alam mo, I ko, no? um, di ba, we, we always expect mga one verse. Lang. But these three verses, like what you said, they're connected to one another. Eh? And we cannot discuss verse 3 if we don't know the ver- verse 1 and verse 2, no? yung isang ano ko dito, yung isang parang na, na hindi ko natanong na I wanted to ask you, yung ano, yung back to verse 1, di ba parang sinabi dito, uh, there are three things eh, na nanotice ko, di ba? Na you do not um, walk with the wicked or stand in the way of sinners. Eh, di ba? So meron palang, meron palang such thing as uh, kasi walking with uh, w- w- wicked, parang na picture ko yun eh. Standing in the way of sinners, tapos seating pa. Nor sit in the seat of scoffers. So parang, I think with this, parang it, it uh, parang summarizes our our whole our whole day eh. Diba we, let's say we walk to work, kung nag office ka, you sit down or, or you stand or whatever, diba? So parang, is that also, is that how it is na for us? Kasi ako iniisip ko, yeah. Actually, parang at this point in my life, anything I do, parang I know na, na God is watching. I know na God is in my midst. 
So, uh, is that also parang, like, ikaw, di ba, when you raise your kids, no? Is that also how, how, ano, how parang relevant are these uh, three verses to you as a husband, let's say, or as a father? Yeah. Interesting enough, like, tama ka nga, ma'am, na walk, stand, and sit is your daily things. So, yes. sinasabi dito, parang, Basically, generally, dapat, you don't do that kind of lifestyle. So, walk, stand, and sit is a lifestyle. You walk, stand, and sit. And then yung normal na ginagawa mo, I sit, I'm sitting right now, I'm walking to Dubai, mga, ano, mga grocery. And that is the verse is saying, na parang don't make your life revolve around these three things. And yeah. these three things are very... Mag- magkakinsan to lahat. <laughs> Magkakasin lahat ng kakapatid niya, yung mga wicked, mga sinas, saka mga scoffers. And, like what you said, what what you're asking me about my family, yun yung parang pinaka-prayer namin ng asawa ko, na hindi ko lang pinapag-pray anak ko. I'm praying na yung kanyang future best friends, yes. yung mga future partners nila, mm-hmm. yung mga future, um, lahat ng mga pwede nila mamadaan. Ma- kaya pray namin kasi hindi lang sila kasi pag sila na pinag pray ko mahirap talagang talagang mahirap if, if, if I'm only praying for him he really has to walk he literally is walking with the wicked so kailangan ng pray ang prayer natin hindi lang basta yung pamilya natin but you know the country yeah, nice. your state your your neighborhood na talagang sana yung anak ko will be able to to see this at an early age, na talagang you really are gonna be blessed if you, kunyari, if you follow your parents, if you... Yeah, um, obey. Oh, yeah, obey your parents, oh, if you honoring. parang um, don't hang out with, you know, with bad people, or parang mukhang good, pero bad talaga. Yung mga ganun, okay. lahat ng mga prayer namin is, is really for them and for people around us. And eventually, Kaya, kaya you're, you're an, kaya we're praying for the country. We're praying for our country. To, yeah. to know God. Kasi it will be parang sobrang dali na. I mean, sobrang dali. Pero it will be parang what a delight it is if your country yeah. worships Jesus. Okay. Ganito, anak. Um, I have to, ano, I have to cut, you know, but I like what you're saying, you know, about praying for the country, praying for everyone that's surrounding your family, you know. For, kasi for now, it's it's ano, time for for a pause, for a news break, you know? ano, but, but we'll be right back, no? So, si Miss Loli Acosta, Sulo na Bayan, sa DWIZ 882. We're back. We're back. Uh, Cholo, yung, um, uh, kanina, di ba, we, we were, you were talking about uh, praying for the country, di ba? that was praying for the friends of John, di ba? So siguro can we can you ano, can you tell us more, no? Sino ba yung bansang pinagpe-pray mo yung sa Australia? <laughs> well, I could I could say na Filipino pa rin ako. Um um but yung anak ko is not. I mean he is, pero hindi siya hindi niya recognize na yung Philippines is his country. Kasi he was born here. Eh. So yes. talagang when I pray, I don't pray for just my country. I pray for his country too. Yes, good. Yeah. So, parang, so right now, you're, as a parent, syempre, I'm sure you're a part of you, like what you said, Filipino ka pa rin, di ba? Pero, right now, as a parent, I'm sure your concern is the next generation. Di ba? And right now, you have two, John and Olive. You know? So, and you also mentioned na yung Meron bang ano, meron bang kaibahan ng raising a uh, children, raising raising children in Sydney or in Australia compared to how you were raised or how how parents raised their children in the Philippines? Ah, uh, malaki, malaki na talaga. Like um, recent news sa Australia is um bumaba yung Christian. Okay. Meron parang like from 70% Christian yung mga believers, they're now 40%, and the rest are agnostic. Yun pa lang, it's very alarming, kasi 
John will encounter a lot of non-believers who doesn't believe in God and who believes in other gods. Like, merong iniwala sila about um, um, doing good just mm-hmm. because you're doing good. Walang reason. <laughs> and yun yung nakatakot. Mm-hmm. Like, dun pwede ma-distort yung... Like, meron, wala namang mga, meron, wala namang mga bad religion eh. Pero meron mga, relig- meron mga beliefs na kulang. Like, ba't ka ba, nag- ba't ka ba mabait? Because, we love Jesus. Ganun lang naman tayo eh. Um, because He saved us and because we love Him. So we do what He does. May mga beliefs na you believe to do good kasi kailangan magawin yung good. Walang, walang risk. And, and, and talagang I'm, I'm what I really, and growing up, sa Pilipinas, um, I had really um, a good influence around um, growing up. Um, I started church ang 11. I mean, nung baby pa ako, pero yung, yung talagang hardcore and niwala sa Diyos, 11 years old. Okay. And yun, tuloy-tuloy na. But sana si John, he will also do the same thing what I have experienced. Yes. But I, I think you also mentioned na parang at an early age, meron na rin siyang awareness of our of our relationship with God and uh, what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. Di ba nakuwento mo na sinabi niya, he's praying ba? He's praying to yeah. Jesus. Jesus yeah. Parang, of course, hindi naman kami pag sa religion namin. So, we pray in front of him and then he asks us, One of our one of my biggest prayers is for John to know God at a very early age, like yes. earlier than me, at eleven, yeah. earlier than eleven. So kung pwede mga five or six, and like we, may kilala ako na ka church namin who said she met Jesus at age four. Wow! And from then on, she talagang she she knows. Sabi niya, I met him. He 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 spoke to me. Well, it's possible wow. yun. And, and, and John said one time, well, parang random lang, sabi niya parang, um, I met Jesus. How? Parang sabi niya, I just wow. pray. Parang, it warms my heart na when you pray, talagang God answers. Yes. God, God would, would, would approve kasi what you're praying is, is good. And, yeah. you, talagang I cannot even say na Hmm, baka gusto. Pero, sinabi niya eh. And children don't lie. So sabi niya, um, oh, nakayala yeah, sa Jesus. Parang, <laughs> hindi naman siya nag-pray ng salvation prayer. Pero napakayala sa Jesus. So parang, I'm, yun na yung parang um, uh, relief on my end na he really answers. He really uh, yes. makes himself known if you ask him. Yes. Grabe. So ngayon naisip ko, so we have another child there. Eh? We have another baby girl. And it's, I'm sure it's the same prayer that you will give her, di ba? Na at an early early age, she will also get to know Jesus. Okay. I think for for John, um, the seed has already been planted. Eh? Diba? So right now, parang na-imagine ko siya, um, he's, he's already there. He's, he's in, planted in streams of water. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi that's God's word eh. And like, like parents, like his parents, he will bear fruit, no, in season. And look, I see him grow up, no, and I, 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 I've told you this and I will tell you now, I honor both of you, no, you and, and Faye, uh, on how you diligently, uh, carefully teach your children, no, on the way they should go, no. We know that eh. Uh, we know that uh, whatever they have learned, no, growing up, it will not depart from them, di ba? Nakalagay yun sa salita ng Diyos. And I think that's a promise that you can hold on to. And it's beautiful kasi um, I know there'll be there'll be bumps along the way. And you know naman, you know our life, di ba? Yeah. There'll be bumps along the way. But there will always be constant reassurance na I've got you, di ba? You know that God is always there. Uh, ready to catch you when you fall, no? Or even just before, even even not yet falling, eh, di ba? He's there to, uh, to like, comfort us or to walk with us, no? In this difficult times. So talagang, hindi, ma- hindi madali. When you wake up in the morning, alam mo na agad, there's a problem, eh, di ba? Kaya nga, meron ako, ano, sino ba yung kausap ko na sinabi ko na, alam mo, let's not worry about, <laughs> about tomorrow, muna. Ako, kanina. Kasi, 
Ah, kanina, di ba? <laughs> Sabi ko si today has enough trouble, di ba? Yeah. So, let's let's focus on today and let's focus our our prayers on what's going to happen. No? I mean, how to solve our problem today. How it is to live a life pleasing, no? And not be parang, ay, nakalimutan ko, Christian pala ako ngayong araw na to. Baka there are times na like that, eh. Para bang, ah, oo nga, no? Yung mga iba, di ba, alam mo, naglolo ko sila. Ah, nalaglag yung mga prutas ko. Di ba, they say that. Sure. Pero, syempre, joke yun. Pero, I don't think na that should be an excuse all the time, eh. Na, we should, our prayer should be na preserve us, no? Preserve the, preserve the fruit that has been already uh, planted or instilled in us. No? So, yung ano, yung now that uh your yung yung, yung ano yung going back no to your life in in sydney how many years have you been staying there so fifth year ko na <laughs> fifth year okay yeah. tama so si si john is four so parang medyo a year below no yes yes uh, kasi right after marriage you moved to ano eh, to australia yeah Okay. So, like, uh, being a Filipino or being a Christian, no? Are there, you know, are there things that you parang want to, parang want to siguro pass on? Or want to make sure that the next generation, your children will continue to hold on to? Aside from um, the saving knowledge of na they should know God, they should know Jesus. Pero ka bang parang uh, yung, or siguro ano, it's either want to pass on or can you tell us something na, maski short lang, na alam mo na God uh, yung delivered? Or a testimony? Pero bang parang top of mind ka na testimony na you can probably say na you know that God was there? Um... Yeah, oh, meron naman. Like um I think I I think you you knew, you knew when I first started in Australia, sa first year ko pa lang. Yung work hours ko was so brutal. Was brutal. Like you start ng 9:00 ng umaga, you finish ng 11:00 ng gabi. Um walang overtime, walang break. Yeah. Pumayat pa ako, as in talaga pumayat ako noon. For one year ako lang trabaho noon. Then I left, then nag pa lang trabaho. Pero, I didn't, I mean, I asked my boss bakit ako hindi binabayar ng extra, bakit gano'n, and they say, oh, because you're on salary, and it's a reasonable overtime. Hindi naman reasonable overtime. Pero it, it, at that time kasi, hindi ako, wala akong ano eh, wala akong say. Yung visa ko was on them. Uh-huh. And then, after like, ano, siguro, I left na nun, pero after, siguro mga two years after ko umalis, they got caught by three yeah. years ago, three years ago after Omales, they got caught by the government. And the government yeah. parang said, why are you paying um, your workers illegally? And then, wow. yun, some, somebody messaged me from, ano, from, from their company saying, oh, we owe you this amount of money. And it's a really big amount of money. Wow. Parang they're paying all the um, overtime ko na hindi ko naman niningi. Yeah. And that made that gave me enough money to ano, ano man, to <laughs> enjoy. Yeah. Talagang talagang parang they said they, they gave you money. Yeah. Um malaki siya. And they, after a few months parang oh, kulang pa pala to. Ito interest. Kasi wow. Ano eh, kasi that was 3 years eh. So nag-accrue siya. And then this recently last month, oh may kulang na naman. Ito, so parang sabi ko, saan galing ito mga pera na to? I mean, of course, galing sa hard, sa work ko, pero hindi ko na siya hinihingi kasi I knew na when you work um, yeah. with them, talagang work eh, work lang ako na work eh. But wow. I knew na I was not, um, I knew he was there. So yun yung mga winter times ko. <laughs> yun yung mga yeah. winter times ko na parang I knew he was there. And then, soon enough, they they paid me more than I can imagine. And of course, I'm thankful. I ask, what, what's this? Sabi niya, ah, interest from last year. Oh, okay, thank you. Parang ganon. Yeah. And then, the only thing I want to to leave for for my kid, for my family talaga, 
is you you have to love Jesus talaga eh. Because He loves you. He loves you so much. Um, I, I get the eye whenever I talk about God's love. Yes. Tapos, next one is love others. Kasi you have, you have only have two commands in your life. Love yeah. God because He loves you. And love others because He loves others. Wow. Yun din yung kailangan mo gawin. And for yeah. me, I could, if if malaman ko lang na John and Olive, yung mga anak ko, and my wife, did that or does that, I can, like, go to heaven. <laughs> okay na ako. I'm, I'm done. Okay na ako. Hindi na ako. Hindi ko na kailangan mag, ma, ma, mabuhay pa. Kasi I know, I know na I was able to pass the baton of loving God and loving others. Yeah. To my son and my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And just a fun fact. So, I yes. am Generation X. Okay. Sige, sige. Yung generation ni John tsaka ni Olive. Yung 2020 oh. to 2020 something. Mm-hmm. is the alpha generation. And oh. alpha is very important. Alpha is very nice kasi alpha means the start. Yeah. Tapos na X, Y, and Z. So, my, you know, we're back to A. And sana we hit the ground running for the next generation wow. that they'll be able to do that for the the next letters, for beta, for whatever. <laughs> Wala for yeah. ng beta. But I believe na na passing the baton of loving God and loving others has to resonate from you and to, for them to receive it well so they can pass it to the next generation too. Okay. Yeah, that's so... Karami, sobrang ako na-bless, anak. I, I think yung lesson na nakuha ko dyan, when you said na uh, you just work no, for, let's say, uh, one year working um, tirelessly, uh, being like loyal to the company, in a way, you're, you're man, may nakamayin sa Bible eh, para bang work, work as unto the Lord or something. Di ba may ganon? Work as unto the Lord. Yeah. Oh, Di ba parang ganon? So I, I think when you work uh, with, uh, of course, there's a certain level of dedication and you know, you were loyal to the company and you were probably uh, just, you know, taking it in. But it's God that rewards it. I think that's the lesson that I can parabang glean eh, na parang God saw your hard work and then it's uh, nothing nothing went to waste. Right now, uh, ilang years na, let's say five years na, you're still receiving, di ba? Mm-hmm. Receiving from that work that you did uh, for one year. No? Like what you said, di ba? Ngayon may mga interest na interest pa rin. And we don't know until when they will continue to give you. Kasi hindi naman sila sabi, oh yan, natapos na. Nabayaran na namin lahat ang overtime mo. And I think it's only, parang ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng ganyan. Wala pa ako narinig ng ganyan kwento. So, it's, I see God's, um, uh, parang ano ba, fingerprint or God's hand in all that uh, that happened to you during that trying times and and the reward that uh, you received up until now. You know? And yung ano, yung when you mentioned about uh, the, isa nga nagulat ako eh, ah, so X, Y, Z, tapos na pala. So alpha na sila ngayon. So alpha, di ba parang, so are we saying you know, parang they're probably the the leader, no? Parang it's a leadership position, no? And Shepi, we don't want our children or we don't want your children to be a leader for unrighteousness. Yeah. Diba? So we want John and Olive to lead their pack. Eka nga. In right relationship with God. So I think talagang uh, there's still many things, no? Parang you will you will encounter, no? Uh, being a husband. I know it's also, right now, di ba? Parang syempre kapapanganak lang ni Faye. And this, this is the season na adjusting uli kayo. Parang nanganganay uli, di ba? Parang panibagong baby na naman. Parang everything that you learned nung kay John, Siyempre, hindi naman forgotten, pero parang you're really learning now. No? So, sige. Siguro for, ano, parang yung right now as a, um, as a husband naman, no? how do you, ano naman, how do you 
uh, give your ano ba? Is, is there any tangible support that you give Faye in this season na parang ilang days old pa lang siya yung baby nyo? Like siguro for two weeks pa lang, di ba? One week pa lang. One week pa lang? Oh, oh. Or two. Oh, Mag-a-two. Mag-a-two. Two weeks. Mag-a-two. Yes. Mag-a-two two weeks. Oh, sige, sige. How it is naman? Uh, how is she adjusting uh, as a para pa bagong bob na naman? Yeah, so as you as you I, I I think I need to explain kasi nung when John was born, I was working. So talagang tireless working. Yeah. I wasn't present during John's um weeks old. Talagang I I I go to work ng hapon, I get to home, go home ng gabi. Yes. Pagising ko, pagising ko wala na sila. Actually si pagising ko, I need to go to work. Pag-uwi ko, yes. tulog na ako. Okay. So I could say that I wasn't there during John's um, early months. Mm. I was I was in the house, pero wala ako on taking care. Okay. And recently, um, when I found out na it'll be four, apat na kami, ngayon yung nag-downside, yung nag-downside, nag-downside ako ng, ng career. So I was, naging head chef ako for a while. Yes. And then, nang nalaman ko na magkakalak na kami, I was talking to Faye na parang, I think I want to to switch your roles in a more um, steady roster para I'll be more present sa bahay. Kasi nice. si John, ang kailangan ni John ngayon is emotional needs. Si Olive needs more physical. And my wife basically needs more support. So, I'm working yes. ngayon na parang childcare, um, 7.30 to 3.30, Monday to Friday. Wow. Ito the, the best roster. But, in trade-off niya, it's less money. Pero for oh. me, money is not important if your time is is there. Yeah. So right now, talagang I wake up with Faye at um, 10, tapos minsan I help her change nappy at 2, tapos at 6, parang ganun. Kasi, kailangan niya eh. And, and yeah. si Faye, she, she's, ano eh, she's, she's strong. Pero, yeah. may times talaga na she wants to be supported. Of and course. me supporting is me letting go of my career, which is really okay. Talagang okay na talaga siya. Oh, if yeah. trade off niya, is more time with my family. Yeah. So, that, that's so, how I support my wife. Talagang, talagang, ano, uh, talagang full-on dad. And, ikita ko na, ito pala ginagawa niya nung kay John. Like, she uh, wakes up. Not easy. Feed, stop. Ako nga, meron akong toke, eh. meron akong bottle. <laughs> So, binabattle ko si Oli. <laughs> Tapos, pag gising, after nang sabihin ko, oh, gising ka na, you, you pump na, kasi, kasi si oh. Oli is pure breast milk. So, alam mo yun, talagang, yes. may break siya. Then I help, then I help feed, change nappy, gano'n, gano'n. So, I'm part of the routine. And, okay. one, I'm gonna go back to work na next week. Ah, uh, this week. So, parang, sabi ni Faye, parang, oh, I'll miss you. <laughs> sabi ko, I'll be back, don't worry, I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Alam mo na, yung gusto ko pa sana ng ano, uh, ex-found yun. Kasi I think when you said na yung you, may, may, may certain sacrifice, diba? You yeah, said na yung being a head chef, you let go of that and then eto nasa isang medyo uh, regular time schedule ka. Um, I think talagang there's no regret, no? Yes. Uh, no regret. Your family will appreciate that, no. Mm-hmm. And thank you, no, for sharing your life in Sydney, no. Uh, I'm sure, marami mabebless those who will or listening now and who will listen, no, on demand kasi ito nasa YouTube to, no. Sige, siguro, uh, allow me to pray for you, no, and we'll also pray for Kita Lori, no, yeah. para uh, we know that uh, our strength, no, our healing, our very source is. Um, our one and only God, you know, which is uh, in heaven, our Father in heaven. So okay, let's pray. Again. Father in heaven, we thank you for this hour that we spent. Thank you for the lessons, no, that we we learned. Thank you for your word, no. Mm-hmm. Truly, a man is blessed, no. Um, if you do not, parang sabi nga ng inusalita, blessed is the man, no, who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, no? and. Thank you that um, I see here a man who's walking, no, walking in righteousness, 
not because she's a good she's a good person but because your righteousness has been imputed in him father we also pray for uh for his wife no si pay the children si john si olive continue to protect them continue to give him them give them help uh continue to prosper them in that land father for lordy lord god we pray that you will heal her No, right now, now she's uh, consulting with the doctor. Father, we pray that you mend the broken bone, or there'll be no bone broken even. Father, allow her to stand straight. Allow her to walk uh, as gracefully as she used to. That uh, tomorrow it will be a new day, and tomorrow she will start another. Uh, she'll be back to work. Without any pain and without any worry that uh, baka meron pang kailangan kawen. So Father, we uh, ask that you uh, preserve this uh, program because we know that many are helped. All of this we pray in the name of your Son Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I thank you for joining us. Uh, it's such a joy, not to hear your testimony. No, thank you for sharing with us. No, for so ngayon we're ending. No, we have we have few minutes. No, pero I would like to to thank no people who are supporting us. No, yung nasa nasa newsroom and tech. No, si Engineer June Agupa Aguba. No, yung writers natin si Ariam and Mara. Tapos yung sock med natin si Jam and Jello. Tapos yung si yung ating CA, si Mace and Isha. Well, thank you, thank you for the team. Thank you for supporting. Thank you Diko, Cholo. Uh, you. God bless you, no, in that land, thank no? You. And for Lolly, get well. Uh, we miss you. Uh, see you tomorrow. No, you'll be back and I know God killed you. No? So yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye everyone. Si Miss Lolly Acosta, Sulo Nabayan, sa DWIZ 882.